Psalm 71 is believed to be written by David during a tumultuous period in his life. David is now an old man facing numerous adversities. His reign as king was not without challenges. Rebellion from within the kingdom, betrayed by those close to him, including his own son Absalom, and the constant threat from enemies all weighed down on him. And despite these hardships, David's faith in God remained steadfast. The religious landscape during David's time was deeply rooted in the worship of Yahweh, the one God of Israel. The Israelites believed that they had a covenant relationship with God as the nation's protector, provider, and deliverer. David's psalms are particularly significant as they reveal his personal struggles, his penitence, and his profound trust in God. Now, David was the second king of Israel. He was chosen by God because of his heart and his faithfulness. Despite his flaws and sins, David is remembered for his devotion to God. Now, David's life is no fairy tale. It is marked with great triumphs and deep sorrows. But all of that gives us the context to understand his writings and why his relationship with God was so deep. David writes, Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly, God to help me. May my accusers perish in shame. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. Remember now, verses 12 and 13 is written by a David facing adversity, and David is urgently calling upon God for help, reflecting a sense of deep desperation, but also of deep trust. He is praying for his accusers to be shamed and disgraced, showing that his reliance is upon God. David's plea in verse 12, do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly, God, to help me, underscores his belief that only God, only God can deliver him from his troubles. God isn't some second chance, some second thought. God is his only chance. This cry for help is both personal and intense, highlighting his dependency on God for immediate intervention. In verse 14 and 18 through 18, David declares his enduring hope and commitment to praising God. He recounts God's righteous deeds and saving acts, acknowledging that God's teachings have been with him through his youth and they have basically made him who he is. David, David's reflection on God's faithfulness throughout his life here, even in his old age, is a testament to his unwavering faith in his God. The last three verses resonate with a profound sense of God's greatness and reliability. Despite experiencing many troubles, David is confident here that God will restore and uplift him. His, he is faithful that God will continue to honor and comfort him, and that reflects a deep abiding trust in God's promise. David's experiences and emotions in our lesson offer a valuable lesson for us today. We too face various challenges and adversities as we age and along our life's journey. David's plea for God's presence and assistance encourages us to turn to God in all of our times of need, trusting in him and knowing that there is unwavering support from God. We see in David's lifetime of reliance on God, 
It teaches us the importance of maintaining our faith through all of our seasons in life. His unshakable belief in God's continuing deliverance reminds us that God is always with us, ready to restore and comfort us, no matter the circumstances, even though we have fallen down in sin and wallowed in it before we get up. God is still going to be there waiting for us to return like the prodigal son. As modern Christians, we can draw strength from David's example, knowing that our faith in God will sustain us through life's difficulties. Let us, like David, always have hope, continuously praising God and declaring his mighty acts to all generations. That's the lesson for this week. Have a great week.